Good day, ladies and gentlemen. The market is absolutely exploding. Ethereum has made a new all-time high. The top altcoins are absolutely pumping, exploding. So in this video, I'm going to run through some uh, technical analysis, kind of summarize my thoughts on what I see happening with the market, and do some TA, uh, TA on Bitcoin. Because, look, it's important to understand uh, what Bitcoin is doing because it, it has an effect on the rest of the market. Uh, Jesus, guys, there's so much to talk about. This is just the beginning of of this bull run guys we, we've been trying to warn you guys for weeks and months at this point you know the, the coins we, we've spoken highly of in terms of long-term investments i've nearly all done two or three x's since we started talking about them on this channel join our discord like subscribe comment share hit that bell icon of new uploads because we've been killing it you guys are gonna want to stay tuned to like uh we break down uh, i don't see anyone else putting out as much Critical technical analysis on as many uh, interesting uh, setups as we are on YouTube. So, guys, let's, let's delve into this. Let's talk about Bitcoin. Uh, there's so much to talk about on chart and off chart. Let me just begin by mentioning these stories. So, uh, Michael Saylor of MicroStrategy, one of the largest uh, holders, MicroStrategy being one of the largest holders of Bitcoin in the world, uh, this month, February 3rd and 4th, hosted a webinar for 1,400 publicly traded companies in order to help them get into Bitcoin and crypto. Guys, this is a huge deal. Michael Saylor is helping uh, the most open-minded companies in the world uh, get onboarded into Bitcoin and crypto. This is going to be huge, folks. I bet you anything. Once the quarterly uh, filings come out for, for first quarter of 2021 with a bunch of these publicly traded companies, we're going to see a massive spike in companies uh, adding Bitcoin to their balance sheets. This is just the, be the beginning of things to come, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Not only this, I mentioned this before, and I'm going to mention it again because this is huge. Visa is now partnering with banks to uh, allow banks to uh, provide uh, Bitcoin and crypto services. Guys, it's happening. We, we, we've spoken about um, the institutions flooding into the space, the the, de the development, the onboarding uh, of new people, the flood of, of both normies and uh, institutions getting into crypto, and it's happening. And this is just the beginning. Guys, the uh, and the on-chart uh, technicals for Bitcoin look extremely, extremely interesting. Uh, we were in this descending triangle, descending triangle. We, we, uh, we Guys, I saw this. We were talking about this descending triangle back in like mid-January before any other cryptocurrency YouTube, YouTube channel was was talking about this. It was so funny seeing a YouTuber start starting to talk about this descending triangle days and weeks after we mentioned. Stay tuned to the channel, folks. So we seem to be breaking up bullish here right now. Uh, pretty obviously, key resistance level is kind of 38,600, 38,800. So kind of this range right here is going to act as critical resistance to uh, for Bitcoin. If we can get above that, I believe Bitcoin is absolutely flying. For a few reasons if we take the height of this triangle uh and move this to the breakout point you can clearly see i think this breakout has more than enough gas in its tank to reach its all-time highs of 42,000 and surpass it i think we see 45,000, 46,000 dollars uh very soon if we can get above this region uh, uh bitcoin at 39,000 dollars tells me we, we can see 45 46,000 dollars uh, very very soon now uh, that is not a guarantee there's there's a, a few technicals that I think are worthwhile to understand so let's just uh, take a look at our indicators and just kind of get a sense for what kind of the macro picture is here so um, looking at the uh, is this the, no let's take a look at the daily here daily bullish crossover the, on the MACD weighted MACD on the way up stochastic on the way up overbought though overbought though interesting RSI making higher highs higher lows looks bullish let's take a look at 12 12 looks very bullish, except the stochastic RSI in the overbought region, although it just had a bullish crossover, and the MACD is starting to tick down. So we're starting to see some signs of some weakness. Although it, everything isn't an uptrend, we see some signs of weakness. Uh, six hour. Uh, okay, six hour is where things start to look concerning. Bearish crossover on the, on the weighted MACD. Uh, RSI right up against resistance. MACD still still in an uptrend, although it looks, looks iffy, looks weak. Uh, so six hours, we're starting to see some, you know, some signs of some weakness, signs of a potential pullback. Four hour, ooh, four hour MACD very determined. Although we had a bullish crossover, bullish cross crossover on the stochastic MACD. Looks like the weighted MAC, uh, sorry, bullish crossover on the stochastic RSI. Looks like the weighted MACD wants to have a bullish crossover as well. Look at the two, two bullish crossover from the MACD. So guys, we're starting to see some signs of of some um of some weakness on the higher time frames. So ultimately, I think what's what's important to understand is 
we're starting to see uh, some 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 strength, some weakness. Uh, we want to go for a further leg up, and so this this further leg up right right here is gonna be very critical because we're gonna test this resistance level. If we cannot break below this resistance level, I believe um, we're falling uh, back down to at the very least uh, retest this area of support here. There's a lot of volume uh, being uh, built up here. If we cannot hold, you know, thirty-seven thousand, I think we're falling down into my uh, green box here this is where i would be looking to accumulate uh bitcoin uh personally so you know uh 34,900 to 34 to uh 33,300 is where i would personally be looking at to accumulate bitcoin a lot of price action here uh, a lot of volume here and this was the breakout point so we could you know if we find rejection off here i think it's definitely possible that we could fall fall back down to retest the breakout point uh and then perhaps later go on for that next leg up something like that is definitely possible so uh keep on the lookout for that as well guys bitcoin dom and it's bitcoin dom has been absolutely falling the altcoins have been uh have been pumping and i think this is just the beginning it is crazy to see bitcoin and ethereum and a lot of the altcoins pump at the same time uh guys this is just this is just beginning of things to come uh but for those who don't know i think bitcoin dominance is very interesting to look at because i think it's, it's good to try and get a gauge of what the altcoin market it can do uh, whenever bitcoin dominance uh, rises altcoins typically suffer whenever it falls altcoins typically benefit so, you know, if you, you know, every morning, every week, whenever you take a look at Bitcoin dominance, if you take a look at it and it's either dumping or pumping, that should give you a good sense of what the altcoins are likely to do. Um, so, yeah, that's always an important chart to look at. And guys, look, uh, these there's massive things going on in crypto right now. Uh, not to mention, not to even mention Elon Musk putting hashtag Bitcoin in his bio. You think he, he did that without actually buying Bitcoin? What if it comes out in a few months that, he, that Tesla bought 10,000 Bitcoin? He bought 10,000 Bitcoin, 20,000 Bitcoin. Guys, this is just the beginning of this bull run. I believe this bull run is likely to end uh, around the end of 2021. I think, nobody knows for sure. I don't know this for sure, but I think it's likely. I think it's probable that Bitcoin reaches its peak around late September, early October 2021. And Ethereum and the altcoins uh, peak out roughly a month after Bitcoin. I don't know that for sure, but I've seen some charts that tell me that, that uh, I've seen evidence that that points towards that likely being the case. Uh, at the peak of this bull run, I would not be the least bit surprised if Bitcoin reaches the hundreds of thousands. I, I, I you know, I put out the the prediction before. That I, I think Bitcoin reaches three hundred thousand, and I think Ethereum reaches thirty thousand dollars by the peak of this bull run. Again, I don't know that for sure, but folks, stay tuned to this channel. We're gonna break down critical TA if Bitcoin or uh, or any of the altcoins, uh, interesting ones, uh, do anything interesting, break out. We'll definitely be talking about here as well in our Discord group. Link to join that will be down in the description below as well. If you guys want to trade Bitcoin, I'm, I highly encourage you to check out Bybit. It's by far the best exchange we've used for, tr we've used, uh, for trading. Be very careful with leverage trading, ladies and gentlemen. It is very, very risky. Do not invest or trade anything you are not willing to lose. Uh, as well, uh, check out Token Metrics, guys. It's a platform, AI-fueled and price predictions platform that we use to help inform our thought process and our research here. They offer like a, a paid trial. It's like 10 bucks for a week or something like that. Check that out. Link down in the description below. Uh, yeah, now like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell icon, notified of new uploads. Thanks for watching, everyone, and take care.